If you were to take the same efficiency and innovation that IBM has brought to iDataplex and applied it to the airline industry, it'd be akin to a plane that seated 6,000 people could fly all the way around the world on a single fill-up and do it four times as fast. I can't give you a dollar figure that says we use this much energy because whatever it is, I'm going to have double that next year. People just don't take the time to think about the implications of this wonderful experience that they're having online. Within a second, we get the, the response we expected and we're delighted with that. It's a completely different internet that's being developed, one based off of social networking, off of blogging, off of the instantaneous sharing of preferences. And it's a much richer internet that's gonna drive computing demand to a whole new level. The result is data centers consuming megawatts of power on an annual basis, which means their power bills are in the millions of dollars every year. And in some cases, they're consuming as much power as a small city. The significance of iDataplex is it's really a fresh look at how you design something from the ground up to meet the needs of a new market. To really think about this, it's, it's like you could have a car that got twice as much gas mileage, served twice as many people, and was half the size. This isn't just incremental, it's, it's substantial. Yeah, it's about the operational realities. If I can save money on my electricity bill, it helps to grow my bottom line and grow my business. The fact that it also reduces Technicolor's carbon footprint worldwide is a plus. We're not mucking up the environment just to make a movie. If you were to implement the iDataplex technology fully in that data center, it would cut the power consumption in half, meaning it would be like taking 38,000 homes off the grid. What if I told you that tomorrow I could cut that energy consumption in half and you'd be having a positive impact on the environment? Would you be interested?